hi guys and welcome to another exciting tutorial today we are going to make an object falling into fluid creating a splash and particles we are going to use blender and flip fluid add-on so let's get started and select the default cube uh, rename this cube to cube dash to main and increase the size and scale from 1 to 10 so x 10 y 10 and z 10 change the viewport shading to wireframe now create uh, a cylinder change the settings for the cylinders change the vertices to 100 radius to around uh, 8 meters and depth to 20 meters rename the cylinder to cylinder dash container slash obstacle now you have to duplicate this cylinder press shift D and click so now you have another cylinder and rename this to cylinder dash fluid. Decrease the size to around 0.5 on Z scale and move it down to the bottom of the domain so it's going to touch uh, down at the bottom now create uh, a uv sphere change the segments to 64 rings 64 and decrease the radius to 0.75 meters now select the sphere and move it upward around 20 meters and then move your playhead on the timeline to frame 1 create a keyframe by pressing I on the location Select your sphere again and bring your playhead to frame 25 and again bring it down on Z axis and while your mouse is on the location press I to create another keyframe. Move your playhead to frame 40 move your sphere a little bit up press I to create another keyframe move your playhead to frame 120 and move your sphere down to the bottom of the container and the domain and press I to create the last keyframe so now test your animation by playing on the timeline and you can see your animation is working properly the object is falling in the fluid and uh, moving slowly to the bottom now let's select the domain cube 
and apply flip fluid add-on click flip fluid add-on and then turn it to domain keep the resolution as 65 go to flip fluid white water and enable white water simulation then go to flip fluid display settings and in flip fluid display setting you can see white water display and select form bubble spray and dust again form bubble spray and dust change the particle size to 0 0.013 for form bubble and spray for all of them the particle size depends on the overall size of your objects so it can be different for you go down and apply flip fluid materials for the surface apply water clear for form apply the form material for bubble apply bubble and for spray apply spray Now select the cylinder container and apply flip fluid add-on and change the type to obstacle and enable inverse because it will contain the water inside. Select the cylinder fluid, apply flip fluid add-on and change the type to fluid because this will act as the water or the fluid. Select the sphere, apply flip fluid add-on and change to obstacle. Select the cube domain and bake at 65 resolution for testing if it's working or not, press bake. So I'll stop it at frame 50 just to check if the animation is working. So I will play on the timeline and yeah, it's working. I can see the fluid from frame 1 to frame 50. Beautiful. But the splash is not as I expected. Splash is a bit small. So I will select the sphere. And I will increase the scale for the sphere from 1 to 1.2 on X, Y and Z. Next, so let's select the light and delete the light because we don't need this light in the scene. Add a plane. Scale it up by pressing S and moving your mouse. I go to the solid view scale it more and bring the plane 
down on Z axis. So it meets the bottom of the domain. Just like this. Turn it to wire frame view. Add a circle and go to the properties fill type and select n gone or triangle fan it doesn't matter move the circle upward on z axis above the sphere make it bigger just like this and you can see it's at the top apply a material to the circle and select emission material. Go to the render properties and select cycles as your render engine. Go to the object properties and go to visibility And in array visibility, turn off camera and transmission. Go to sampling in the render settings and denoising. Select render, render time denoising. Go to performance, increase the tiles X and Y to 256. Select your camera and go to camera properties and fill it with 1000 meter for end property try to align your camera i want something like this to become my camera view so I will press Control alt 0 on the numpad together now I will try to align my camera Something like this. Turn off the render setting for obstacle because we don't want it to render. And this is the fluid actually, so it should be in front of the camera. So I will once more adjust it. So the fluid is in front of the camera and I will turn off the obstacle so I can see the fluid. It looks all right. So I will do a render, test render just to check is if everything is all right i don't want uh, too much bright background and the particles are also not very clear and bright i want a dark background so i will go to the world settings and i will go to the color and make it 
hundred percent black. Again, I will do our test render. It's look uh, much better but the particles are still very light and ve not very noticeable so I want them to be more brighter. I want the splash and particles to be more visible. So we need more light so I will go and select the circle which is the illumination for my scene. I will duplicate it by pressing shift D. So I have another circle and I will bring it down at the bottom just above the plane and below the fluid. So it can also emit light towards the particles. So I have two circles. Uh, I will also select the sphere and apply some material to give it a different color just to make it more noticeable. So just I'm, I will make it orange or red. I just selected orange. S select the domain and reset the baking. I will bake again at grid resolution 100 and press bake. For your final renders you can bake something like 300 at least. For commercial productions it can be like 400, 500 or even more. Okay, let's stop the baking at frame 120 and let's see how it looks. And play your simulation. And it looks beautiful with beautiful splash and particles. And the splash is much bigger than before. Let me find a good frame to render. So I think something between 30 to 40 should be good. Maybe frame number 35. Okay, 35 and let's render it. And wow, it's really look beautiful. I love flip fluid add on. This clarity is still not uh, possible with Manta flow. Okay, one final word of advice that for your uh, final baking, you can make your resolution to 300 and it will give you a much more good and better looking simulation. If you have any questions, uh, you can comment and I, I will answer your questions. And that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time.